to feel at home. It's a relatable idea. Yeah, definite oh, sense of uh, pride. For Madeline and Joey Edels, this is their home. The first they have owned. They feel safe here. They feel, well, at home. Unfortunately, this week, they weren't the only ones who felt that way. Just wasn't phased by the fact that he was in someone's home on a Monday morning at five in the morning. He was very relaxed about it. The Edels say for about half an hour, this person took the time to look through every nook and cranny of their garage. The thief even used the Edels' own shopping bag to stock up on speakers, tools, and this, a one-of-a-kind keepsake, a groom's gift from Joey's wedding. But the worst part is this all happened while the entire family was just feet away inside their home. It's very creepy feeling. It's creepy knowing I was up and awake um, right above him when that was happening. In South King County, crime is nothing new. Numbers the county prosecuting attorney's office released this week show South King County, which includes Auburn, where the Edels live, Federal Way, Kent, and Renton, make up 27% of felony filings for the entire county. In comparison, these four cities make up 18% of the county's population. In late November, the mayors of Auburn, Renton, Federal Way, and other King County cities announced a meeting with the county executive to work toward a safety plan to hold criminals accountable. But for some residents, it may already be too late. We want to move. Yeah, definitely want to move. Days later, the Edels tell me there is still a sense of uneasiness and a concern this thief may try to come back. They say that feeling of home is no longer there. Reporting in Auburn, AJ Janivelle. Fox 13 News.